Chocolatina. Chocolatina? Yeah, it means a chocolate girl, right? Next one. Next page. Move on, move on. All right. Where is it? Right. Tina loved chocolate more than anything in the world. She loved it more than birthdays, more than roller skating, and definitely more than dry fruit. Wow, so she's a chocolate lover, right? Are you a chocolate lover? You are not? What are you eating right now? What is it? Grapes. Grapes, all right. And everybody call her Chocolatina. When dad asked, how would you like your eggs, Chocolatina? Tina always say, with a bowl of chocolate. With the bowl of choco crunchies, please. Oh, so you like choco crunchies. When a lunch lady asked, What kind of milk would you like today, Chocolatina? Tina always picked chocolate milk. And when mom said, Tonight we have fruit salad for dessert, Tina covered hers with chocolate. So always with chocolate, not veggie. Is that good? Why not? Why not? That's junk food. Junk food, right? Tina's health teacher, Mrs. Ferdman, hated chocolate and everything else that children liked. You should eat only foods that are good for you, she told the class. On special occasions like birthdays or full moons, she gave them all dry prunes. Prunes. These are prunes. Mrs. Freeman's favorite saying was, You are what you eat. That means if you eat apples, you become apples. If you eat junk food, you become... Junk food. Yeah. So she would write it on the chalkboard and make the children repeat it every day at the end of class. Can you read this? You know the word. Baby, you know the words. Please. Come on, come on, you know the word. Baby. Can you stop eating? Come on. What? You know the words. Why? You. You. Don't. When? It's a bit messy. You are. What? What? You. Yeah. Eat. Eat. You are what you eat. Okay? You eat what you eat. You, you are what you eat. Alright, one day, during the part of health class, Tina bit the ear off a chocolate bunny. So there is a bunny and but she bit a ear of the an ear of the chocolate bunny. Then she stood up and said, I wish that were too Wow, because she wanna to be a bunny, you know? That night a strange thing happened. <gasps> when Tina woke up, she felt she felt all stiff. She went downstairs and looked in the mirror. Immediately, she saw why I've turned into chocolate. She cried. Whatever you say, Chocolatina, dear, said her mother from behind her newspaper. Now hurry up and eat your breakfast or you'll miss the bus. When Tina got on the school bus, everyone gasped. <gasps> Do you mind if we don't sit together today, Chocolatina? Her best friend Patty asked. Oh, she was so scared. Scared. My mom will ground me if I get chocolate on my new shirt because Chocolatina now is so chocolate, right? So nobody wants to sit next to her. After a lonely Busy and dry, 
Tina was glad to be in spelling class, her favorite subject. But her first word in the spelling bee was "coco," and she got so flustered she spelled it wrong because she's so stiff, right? She was so stiff right now, so she spelled it wrong, so she can she couldn't pronounce the word "coco" properly. At lunchtime, Jimmy. The Rooney tried to bite off one of Tina's elbow because she looks so yummy. Would you like to buy it? I just want the dessert. He told the principal. <gasps> Recess was horrible. Recess means the the break between your classes. Remember, you can go to play. That's the recess. Recess. So recess was horrible. Tina was too stiff to run or jump, so she cannot go play. So she had to just stand and watch everyone else have fun. Whoops! Because she ate too much chocolate. Oh, she's now she was looking like a what? A stay. Looking like a what? A statue. Look like a statue, right? So when it was time to go back in, her feet had melted. Wow, cause she she was in the sun, right? So she's she's gonna melt. So her feet had melted to the hot pavement. The other children had to carry her back inside. Worst of all, it was time for health class. Oh dear. So Mrs. Ferdman made Tina stand at the front of the classroom. Did I tell you, class? What have I always said? You are what you eat. Eat," said the children. "That's right. See me after class, Tina." When everyone else had left, Mrs. Furman began to laugh. <laughs> I hope this would happen. I hope you wouldn't listen to me. I hope you'd turn into a chocolate girl. Do you know why? Why? Asked Tina, who was shaking so hard. She thought she might crumble into a pile of chocolate chips. <gasps> Because I love chocolate better than anything. So health class teacher wanted to buy her. Shouted Mrs. Furman. She grabbed Tina, opened her mouth wide, and went straight for Tina's right ear. Just then, the principal walked in. Mrs. Furman, I was wondering. Mrs. Furman, what on earth are you doing? I I thought she was a prune," said Mrs. Furman. The principal walked Mrs. Furman outside, and she was never seen at school again. That night, safe and at home in her bed, Tina cried little chocolate syrup tear. Cause she's crying, she was crying, but that's ch like ch chocolate syrup, right? I wish I could be a normal girl again. She whispered. And when she walked up, that was just what she was. Hurry! She cried. I'll never eat chocolate again. Hurry up and eat your breakfast, dear, or you'll miss the bus. Called Tina's mom and mother. On the table was a giant bowl of Tina's favorite super chocolatey cereal. You like to eat chocolate cereal, don't you? I'll never eat chocolate again," said Tina. Starting tomorrow, and she ate it all up.、Uh, never learned the lesson. Me and look. Oh, what is it? What is it? Who is it? I don't know. So what did you learn from the story? Don't eat too much chocolate, otherwise you turn to chocolate. Oh, <laughs> so would you like to eat chocolate again? No. Why? Don't aren't you a chocolate lover? No, too scary. Too scary. Oh, but but you love to eat pizza, right? Yeah. If you eat too too much pizza, you will become pizza. Become pizza. And your friends will want to eat you, eat you not me. Like to eat you, right? Do you want to be eaten by your friends? No. 
So what do you want to be? Hmm? Just a normal boy. Just a normal boy? Okay, do you like this story? No, too scary. Too scary? <laughs> Alright. Bye.